All right, so a little bit of a story time. This is going to be a quick and simple video of a tr quick and tragic loss <laughs> that I had just yesterday. So I was just recording my video, my Abyssal 2 Omega Part 3, which has already got a ton of views, like more than any of my other ones have gotten in like the first, like whatever, 24, 8, 12 hours since it's been out. Um, so I want to thank you all so much for that, uh, and if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I go over my plan for what is coming up next in my Abyssal 2 Omega series, and some fittings I was testing out on the test server, and a, uh, a few other things there. Um, and the footage you're seeing here today is live. Uh, I am live commentating this. And it's just a simple level 2 mission doing the blockade, though. Uh... And I'm trying to get my standing up with the scope to start getting some more um, loyalty points with them and do some higher level missions because I want to start doing a little bit of uh, mission running. And that kind of segues me into why I want to, <laughs> to, to do that on, on my main character here. So I, oh shoot, I was shooting out of my missile range. Um, I was creating my video for the Abyssal to Omega and that got me excited. I was like... I'm like kind of excited to continue my series and I decided that I wanted to fly my retribution and and do some uh, T1 electricals and so I do about two I get some no I did more like four I do about four T T1 electricals in my retribution on uh, Kennedy here and it's going well and um, I'm starting up like the third or fourth one and I get to I think it's like the first or second room it's a Cryptus Tyrannus wave and those of you who think you know where I'm going you don't know where I'm going and let me tell you why there I was um, I had just of course just bought a bling small armor repair it was like a C type some sort of small C-type armor repair because I didn't feel like my my tank was strong enough like it was strong but I wanted it to be a little bit stronger so I went and I bought a 50 million isk small armor repair <laughs> just to bling it out a little bit because I had already made like a good amount of money with this retribution I'd already paid it back with the electricals I've done um, but I just bought this 50 million isk uh, thing and that I had not had long enough to pay back yet. So the first first Abyssal I do after I buy this module, I get into Abyssal, grab this Tyrannus wave, and I'm doing my thing. I've got a micro warp drive. It's a fast retribution. I, I do these sites in like five to six minutes. Um, just blitz them. Uh, and Cryptus is doing his normal thing. And I'm going towards him. And... It all happened so fast, as it always does. There was a tachyon cloud. Cryptus was sitting inside of a tachyon cloud. I'm like, oh, let me just go get over to Cryptus real quick so I can orbit him and take him down because it's going to take a while. I did not turn off my micro warp drive. The tachyon cloud shot me right out of the arena. I didn't think it was like the arena wall was as close as it was. I thought I had more room and I could not see it. I could not see the wall until I was about, I don't know, two kilometers away. And at this point, I'm going 5,000 kilometers a second. <laughs> so it was, I was out of there. And I, and I overheated everything, and I really tried to survive, but it was not enough. I lost my retribution and my pod, unfortunately. Um, it could have been a lot worse. The total damage was about 300 million. Let me show you the kill mails here. Uh, let me just... No, I can't hit that guy. Um, let me show you the kill mails here. Yep, there they are. Kill report available. I did get insurance. All 7 million of it. And uh, forget this number. This does not show... Yeah, I got a Corp C type. Small armor repair. This number does not show how much I actually lost. This was about 150 million isk, at least in a Mar price retribution. Including the retribution... This Corp C type small arm repair was 50 million in itself. The ship is about, uh, I forget how much these go for, but, um, yeah, retribution, show info, 
view market details. Yeah, about 30 million isk. So it added up and it hurt. So the ship was about 100. Actually, no, I, I went to buy it all and including the the uh, the loot I lost because like 100 Triglavian survey databases is not a small number. Um, I lost all these scorch ammos. I had 52 calm electrical filaments in my cargo hold, and that was the dumbest thing. I will never do that again. I will never keep that many filaments in my cargo hold. Uh, I lost all this nanite repair paste, um, Republic Fleet small cap battery, so it was, it was a bit of a loss there. Nothing crazy, though. Like, it could be so much worse, and you could see... Um, with my implants, I think I priced these all out and it was about another 100 and 120 or something million. This one's a bit closer, I think, but uh, just a really unfortunate and uh, a lesson learned. Don't get too comfortable because anything can happen in abyssals. I was very comfortable in this situation and I was confident. And it's, you know, it's good to be confident, but I was on the edge of cocky. I was like, oh, Charybdis, I'm just going to go orbit him and take him out. Like, I didn't I didn't plan out my route. I didn't approach him at an angle. I just dead straight approached him. So that was really, you know, all my fault that, that this happened. So I think in total it was a, roughly around 310 to 320 million isk loss for myself, um, which is, you know, it's going to hurt, but... We'll get back up, and we'll get back on the horse again, and we'll we'll recoup the losses. <laughs> Just gonna take a little abyssal break on this character. I'm not taking a break on Idris, so don't worry about that. It's just, uh, I need a minute with Kennedy here. I need to do some different activities with him and um, just chill for a minute. <laughs> um, so, once... Oh, I should be using EMs here. I didn't even realize I was against Sancha. Oopsies. Oh, well. That's what I get. Doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, so, that is my, my woeful tale of how I, I lost 300 million isk in about two minutes of Abyssal Dead Space. <laughs> um, so, we'll just finish up this mission here, and we will end the video. Oh gosh, these guys are so far away. Glad I fitted a micro warp drive. So I am doing missions right now for the scope. And uh, the scope has some pretty good LP per ISK, or like ISK per LP ratios. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking for. So. Oh shoot, they're taking out my drone. That's annoying. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, loss kind of sucked. I'd like to do some, some more, uh, mission running type stuff because, like, that's kind of how I got my start in this game was mission running. And, um, like, I feel like compared to Abyssal Dead Space, mission running is even more casual. And I'm not really doing mission running for the ISK. I'm doing mission running because I find it fun, personally. And, you know, what? Why, why do we play games in the first place? To have fun, you know? So, that's that's why I'm doing this here. Is to have fun. Um, and, you know, the uh, do like to make some isk along the way. And if I can choose a corporation to run missions for, that's going to give me a better return for my time. Uh, you know, I'm going to do that. So, here I am. This is the uh, the blockade, but this is the level 2 version of the blockade. Um, right here, I am running the Sacrilege, which is the Tech 2 Amar Heavy Assault Cruiser. One of two. The other one is the Zealot. And the Zealot's really good. Um, but the reason I'm doing the Sacrilege is drones and missiles. I mean, that's like the bread and butter PvE combo, is drones and missiles. You can't go wrong with them. And I've always thought heavy assault missiles are pretty cool. They fire really fast, and you're just, like, pounding these guys with, like, tons of damage. So, feels good. Let me make sure I am using the right... Okay, yeah. Thermal or EM would be good. 
I don't know how two Valkyries got out here. I thought I sent out all my Republic Fleet Valkyries, but I guess not. And I know Valkyries aren't the right type for this mission. I've just got them because I've got them. So that is what I'm using. Uh, just my overview here a second. Targets. Uh, add rec. There we go. And I separate the targets out from from there. Oh my gosh, they keep targeting. I don't want to lose one of these babies because uh, these Republic Fleet Valkyries are not cheap. Yeah, like two million each, which is more than what I would get from doing probably two blockades. <laughs> Why are they all the way over there? Oh my goodness, I'm not paying attention to my drones at all. I was uh, too busy being distraught about my losses. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, so here's the thing about losing losing ships. Like, losing ships is part of EVE Online. And that's something I've been so afraid of for such a long time. And it's just like, ever since, like, because I've been playing EVE Online for a long time. Like, I was a lot younger at one point. And I didn't know how to deal with that failure or that, that loss. And it would just, if I lost a ship, I would take a break, like several month break from the game. Um, just because I lost like one ship that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, now looking at my account and everything I've done does not matter. It does not matter. And that fear was just holding me back from enjoying the game. And... And I think that's not fair to myself, you know, because, again, what's the point of playing games to have fun? And if I'm letting fear rule my life, it's, you know, it's internet spaceships. Does it really matter in my life? Does it make that big of a difference? So now my, my I think my mindset is in a lot better place. After losing it, I was just like, well, shoot, that sucks. But, you know, I couldn't do anything to stop it. And, it, and I knew it was all my fault. I had no one else to blame but myself. So I just accepted it then and there. Like, before I even died, I accepted I was d going to lose my ship. And, you know, you always, like, say, like, oh, yeah, you gotta... Even before you do any activity in EVE Online, you gotta accept that your ship is lost and all this stuff. You know, which is why I bought insurance. Even though the insurance only paid me back 7 million isk, it's like a slap in the face, honestly. It's like, that's like real life insurance, as I'm finding out. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Living in the States, it's rough with uh, healthcare. Privatized healthcare sucks. Anyways, um... I'd already accepted that I was going to be losing my ship, and that, I think, made the whole experience a lot easier to to handle. Um, so that's why, you know, I'm right back in EVE Online today, and I was even playing, you know, yesterday night, and um, I, I got, like, you know, no issues, just taking a little break, and then, um, I mean, my little break was, I don't know... I, I didn't play Kennedy anymore yesterday. You know, I still played, a, you know, my other account and did uh, some planetary interaction stuff. And, um, yeah, I completely moved all of my planetary interaction uh, on my on, on Lincoln. He's more of, like, going to be my industrial producer. He's my trading guy. Um, I made a lot of uh, ISK in this game through market trading. So uh, I was using... He was my market trader, and then I would take Kennedy out and basically spend all my profits on my different uh, combat exploits. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think really the important thing when it comes to, you know, failure or losses, especially when they're in a game, you know, a video game, and you can't, you know, control what's happening, there's really no reason to be upset. So that's why, like I said, I'm right back up playing some more right now. I'm doing these missions and I'm having fun. Like this is like I woke up today and this is what I wanted to do was was play some some missions and get some more progress with my with my standing with this faction and you know I'm, I'm not making hardly any isk at all. Like you can see like bounty prices and mission rewards is like nothing. Like you can see insurance payout. Um, I bought some ammo for my sacrilege and then I started doing missions. <laughs> so um, 
that's what I did, and that's um, just like what, how I'm going to have fun right now. So that looks like the last ship of this mission is down, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and dock up. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.